27 have died. And still, the Chinese government has the audacity to blame His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan administration for self-immolation, which is not the case because there is no space for freedom in Tibet. There is no space for freedom of speech. There is no space for rallies, demonstrations, hunger strikes. Hence, Tibetans are concluding, if you participate in peaceful demonstration, you might get arrested, often tortured, maybe shot at. Because this year alone, eight Tibetans were shot dead for participating in peaceful demonstration. That is why Tibetans are choosing a drastic, sad, tragic action of self immolations Unfortunately, the intention and the motivation of Tibetans is to highlight their suffering. Their intention also is not to harm anyone. Of the 35 self-immolators, they have, they have not harmed even a single individual yet. The Chinese government calls self-immolation a violence, a terrorist act, which is not the case. Tibetans in Tibet continues to be under political repression, environmental destruction, cultural assimilation, and economic marginalization. That is why they are forced to, say, to take such drastic actions. We, the Tibetan administration, do not encourage, in fact, urge Tibetans not to self-immolate as a human being. But as a Buddhist, you pray to those who die. But as a Tibetan, like today's solidarity rally, you have to show solidarity because the self-immolators are sacrificing their lives, setting themselves on fire for Tibet and Tibetan people. So this solidarity rally sends a clear message to Beijing. Yes, Austria and people of Austria and Europe regard economic rights as important. But equally, human rights is important.